Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome to 10 Things I Wish I Knew Before Playing The Long Dark. This is a quick start guide with some useful tips that you may not have known immediately. One of the most important but not necessarily obvious things in the game is that you don't really have to worry about collecting water. I started out the game carrying around all the water from toilets that I could find, only to discover later that you have the option to simply boil water anytime you make a fire. I recommend taking advantage of this every time you can, as matches are limited and unless you are lucky enough to find other means to start a fire, you will eventually run out. You can also leave behind any water you don't want to carry and save it for later. If the game tells you there are about triple question mark hours of daylight left, that means the weather is very bad and it is unwise to venture outside unless you are staying near shelter. It's extremely likely that this is the case every day until at least a couple hours after the sun rises. Don't simply leave your scavenging to drawers and cupboards. Make sure to look under beds, on top of dressers, behind boxes, and even trunks and glove compartments inside of vehicles. Also scavenge outside. There are tons of natural objects you can find that can be of use to you in a variety of ways. Try to set up your home base in a building where you can make a fire, such as a fireplace, wood stove, or fire barrel, and a crafting table. It's also great if the place has a lot of wooden objects that you can break down into reclaimed wood. Having a bed around wouldn't hurt either, but you can always use your bedroll if you need to. You can survive for a while if you're starving. You'll see your condition decreasing slowly and it won't go back up until you have a sufficient amount of calories, but it isn't dire enough that you should try eating raw meat. It will give you food poisoning, but you may survive with sufficient rest. You can temporarily scare wolves away with the use of a flare, but don't be afraid to take on a single wolf if you're above 70% condition and have managed to find either a hatchet or a hunting knife. Follow the trail of blood to the corpse to harvest it for meat, hide, and guts. Be careful when carrying meat on you though, as you are more likely to attract other wolves and bears. If you need to harvest a corpse when it's extra cold out and it will take a while, set up a fire next to it in order to keep you warm. Bear in mind though that unless you are near some sort of cover, it will be difficult to successfully start the fire and it will not last as long as normal if it is significantly windy outside. Make sure to drop hides, guts, and saplings on the ground in order for them to start curing. You need to do this before you can use these things for crafting, and they will not cure if inside your inventory or a container. Always carry a sewing kit. They're extremely useful for repairing clothes and crafting some items. If you lose your kit or can't find any, however, you can craft a fishing line and hook to use instead, but it will take you twice as long to make things. Don't be greedy, or else you may find yourself in a compromising position. This includes a lot of things, such as caring too much, venturing out while fatigued, getting too close to thin ice, or spending a lengthy amount of time harvesting a corpse without periodically checking the weather. This could easily cause you to become lost, freeze to death, find yourself in darkness, or a multitude of other problems. Nature is brutal. Don't mess with nature. So there you have it. I hope these 10 tips make your life a little less desolate. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you found this video useful and want to see more like it. Until next time, stay foxy.